Welcome to Ranger Planet. Here's what a baby robin eats, and how to feed one. But before we start, please like this video, as it helps us to create more helpful wildlife content like this. Maybe you found a baby robin that's fallen from its nest. Or perhaps you're just curious about what baby robins eat. Well, here's the guide on what baby robins eat, and later we'll tell you how to feed one. Baby robins are just that. Babies, at first, and depend wholly on their parents for food. However, what baby robins eat during the very first few days and onward changes as time goes by. Following is what baby robins eat at each growth stage. When baby robins are with their parents, the parent robins forage for food for them. But also gather enough to feed themselves. The parent regurgitates this partly digested food into the baby's mouth. This is the only way that baby robins eat and are fed during the first week from birth. This diet mostly includes partly digested insects, beetles, worms, berries, and seeds. Around this time, the parents pass larger portions of food into the baby's mouth. This will now include whole versions of insects, beetles, worms, berries, and seeds. They will break up larger foods such as large earthworms before delivering them the baby robin will start to eat more with each passing day. By this point, a baby robin may have eaten the equivalent of 14 feet of earthworms during its short life. By now, most baby robins are able to eat food that is just placed in the nest. They're now old enough to find and eat the food themselves within the nest. On average, the parent robins can make up to 100 visits a day to feed their young. So let's move on to how you would feed a baby robin. You might find yourself in a situation where you have a baby robin you need to hand rear. There are plenty of things you will need to know about feeding baby robins. There are, thankfully, many ways and methods that have worked to feed baby robins. Below are three safe methods to use. You can use a syringe or an eyedropper to feed one to seven day old baby robins. Crush insects and beetles to a pulp and feed them from the syringe. Or get a baby bird formula mix and simply follow the instructions for feeding. Instead of a bird formula mix, you could even use baby formula or wheat cereal like farina. At a push, you might be able to soak dried dog food and use the syringe, avoiding blockages. At first, one or two full droppers will almost certainly fill the robin. As they grow they'll likely need more, and probably more often. Being a robin parent is a demanding job. The baby robin will usually let you know when it's full, or when it's hungry as its mouth opens automatically. Do not feed the robin when it is not asking, as you can easily overfeed them. From 14 days old, hands can be used to feed baby robins. Moistened duck or chicken feed that's processed well with an even texture can be reasonable baby robin food. It's important to be hygienic when making food, feeding, and when handling the bird. Take a tiny pinch of food and stick it to the tip of the finger and all you have to do is touch the corner of the bird's mouth. The baby robin will automatically open their mouth and you shouldn't have any trouble passing it into their beaks. They will stop opening their mouth when they are full. If you get to this point then congratulations. If the robin already has some plumage and appears to be an older chick then you're probably at this point already. This method works mostly when the robin can handle the food on its own. This is a method that allows the baby robins to feed themselves by placing the food on the ground next to them. Offering small berries, or adding mealworms, earthworms, or grubs next to them should work fine. This will also allow the birds to come and feed whenever they feel hungry. On average baby, robins may have to be fed every 5 to 10 minutes at peak times. Make sure the food is at room temperature. The food should not be off, has no mold or bacteria. The food should have a fine texture and even towards slushy, but smooth enough to get through the bird's delicate throat. From three weeks old just make sure food is nearby and available. Then one day, they will fledge and fly away. And you can smile in the knowledge you probably just saved a wild bird's life. If the baby robin does not survive, then it was never meant to be, and at least you provided it with some comfort and the best chance of survival. We hope this has been helpful. Please give this video a like, and consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching Ranger Planet.